my god, huge! Do it! Uh, pizza, do you want some? It's mine! Ha -ha. Welcome back to the mental house. Hello, hello, everybody! <laughs> it's your boy! I'm Mason Happy here. Hi, Darren! Okay, so, today I'm gonna do my top 15 favorite songs of all time. This often changes because it's quite frankly impossible for me to really choose just 15 songs, let alone one. I hate that question when people are like, hey, what's your favorite song? I'm like, bash! I don't know! I don't know. Oh my god, my pizza's done cooking. Hold on. Sorry about the lighting. It's horrible. I just, I just got the pizza. Alright, never been a big fan of people watching or seeing me eat. But who cares? Life is short. I'm hungry and I need to make a video. So. Um... Top 15 song, top 15 favorite songs of all time. Um, I don't know where I was at or what was going on until I heard one like, or other stuff. Anyways, oh my god, the lighting's so bad. I'm getting new equipment and the lighting will be so much better, I promise. All right, but here we go. So, top favorite 15 songs of all time. One, Simple Plan, perfect. Um, because I've listened to that ever since I was a kid. Like, I would sing it like every day. I burped like three times. I'm so sorry. I'm so gross. Um, I, I sing it like every day. Every day for so long. Um, two, Shine Down, Simple Man. Because, um, my grandma dedicated that to my dad. And then my dad dedicated that to me. So I've worked really hard on singing it. And, um, I wanted to show it to him someday, but now I just enjoy singing it. So whatever. Um, three, Kesha, Rainbow. Um, this song just hits home for me. Like, you know, I still like to dress in black, but I also enjoy wearing color. Um, the song is just basically about, you know, living life and enjoying the colors and the beauty of life and, like, everything doesn't have to be so serious and, you know, your past doesn't define you. And that's really what it comes down to. Um, four, Adam Lambert. For your entertainment, Adam Lambert was one of my biggest inspirations as a kid, as a you might be able to tell. <laughs> um, God, he was one of my first real celebrity crushes. My first real celebrity crush was actually a cartoon character. Um, I was a kiddo, and he was called... It was, the movie was called The Tomato Juice Vampire, and he was this little vampire that drank tomato juice instead of blood, and ever since then, I been like super I've had crushes on vampires my whole life I, I love the aesthetic of vampires I think they're so cool and then another one have if you've ever seen the little vampire yeah when I was a kid the vampire in that that was like my second big crush but then as time went on yada yada I found Am Adam Lambert I was a bit older now and I found Adam Lambert and I realized holy shit I've been doing my eyebrows wrong this whole time <laughs> so, so I started doing my eyebrows a lot like his, but I don't really fill them in too often anymore. Sometimes I do. But yeah, whew, had a crush on him. He inspired me. He looks like looked like a vampire when I first found him, especially in the um, For Your Entertainment video, music video. Gosh, and his blue eyes and his hair and his outfits. And he was so fine. My little 12-year-old self couldn't contain itself, couldn't contain himself. Or my little 11-year-old self or maybe even 10, I don't know, but Adam Lambert, when he came out on freaking American Idol, I, I was swooning, just swooning. And then, um, five, Train, Hey Soul Sister. I just love singing it. Something about it makes me feel good. It's just wonderful. I love it. I think I listened to a lot of it, listened to it a lot as I was growing up. Um, yeah, hold on. Gotta take a moment. Stains on my paper. What? Right. Alright. Alright. Six. Three Doors Down. Kryptonite. Um, love it. It's one of the only songs I can confidently do on karaoke. I've been practicing a few songs, so I guess now there's a few that I can like I can kind of do. But um, yeah, like. 
I go crazy when you'll be there holding my hand. I'll keep you by my side with my superhuman, my eat crypt night. Yeah, yeah. Um, love it. Seven. Kobe Kalei. Bubbly. Um, me and my mama have sung that for a very long time together. Um, and I don't know, it's just like, whenever she's like, what song should we play? Like, this one comes to mind. It's really nostalgic. Like, because, like, we would just sing, I just remember, like, road trips to my grandma's house or cabin, and we'd be in the car, and we'd be singing it, and start to my toes, make me crinkle my nose, wherever I go, always know. Love it. Good song. Um, eight. Daniel Powter. Bad day. You had a bad day, you're taking one down, you sing a sad song just to turn it around. Um, love that song. It just makes me feel good, because... Like, I've had a lot of bad days, <laughs> and this one makes me, it just helps, you know? Music is my spirit animal, along with the peacock, um, the sloth, the hawk, the eagle, and a sloth cock. That is a peacock and a sloth crossbred hybrid animal, and I've properly named it the sloth cock. <laughs> Not that funny. So, um... And then, uh, yeah, nine, the fray, how to save a life, because, um, well, I've struggled with depression for a long, long time, and I'm kind of finally learning how to cope with all my mental, Ill in mental health and mental illnesses, but, um, like, how to save a life, like, I don't know, it just spoke to me, it's because, like, it's like, there's so many people that have gone through the same issues that I've gone through, and so many people that struggle with depression, it's like, what do you do when someone is, like, hurting when someone is lost or scared or you know contemplating suicide and you know there's been a few times where it's it almost felt like the only way out but at the end of the day there is hope and you are able to get yourself out as long as you know you ask for help and you strive to become better and you strive to fight those demons that hurt you and attack you so badly you know the mind is a powerful thing and you have the power to you know fix what feels broken i guess um 10 Three Days Grace, Animal I Have Become, because it's another rah, rah song, I just really like it, and, and it's like, it just, it like pumps me up, and you know, it's it's just, I don't know, it's a good aggressive song, it's, I like it, I, I like it a lot, it's just perfectly executed, put together very nicely. 11, Oasis, Wonderwall, um, because, I don't know, I just always love that song, it's so somber and sad, but at the same time, it makes me feel really, really good, like, I love it. I just really, really love it. And then, um, 13, Plain White Tees. Hey there, Delilah, what's it like in New York City? I'm a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty as yes, you do. I just love singing it. I've gotten a lot of compliments singing that song. I've always been pretty confident when singing it. I just feel like I can sing it pretty well, so. Yeah, it's really good, and I just like it. Um, 14. Train. Drops of Jupiter. Love it. 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 I just love the song. It's so fun. You hear that squealing? That's some rubber to some concrete. 15. James Blunt. You're beautiful. So, um, I love loving everyone, but I don't like falling in love. <laughs> um... There's this guy in the past, he was the love of my life, yada yada, etc. He was great, he was awesome, and everything, yada, yada, yada. I was not mentally capable of being in a healthy relationship, and I ruined it. Um, so yeah, but at the end of the day, You're Beautiful is a song that I dedicated to him when we broke up. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's just, it's a really good song. And then 12. Oh my god, what I do? Hold on. 11. Oasis Wonderwall. 12. Iris. Goo Goo Dolls. Or Goo Goo Dolls. Iris. Why can't I? Don't, I, don't even, I don't know what I'm not knowing. And then, yeah, 13. Plain White Tees, Hidden Delilah. 14. Trained. Drops of Jupiter. I like Iris just because it's a really good song and it vibes. It makes me feel good. I'd have to listen to it to make more commentary on it because it's been a minute, but it's definitely one of my favorites. And then, yeah, 15, James Bond. Okay. Woo! That's the top 15! Yay! One, simple plan, perfect. Two, shine down, simple. Oh, my God. One, simple plan, perfect. Two, shine down, simple plan. Three, 
Green, Joseph, Rainbow, Four, Adam Lambert, Warrior Entertainment, Five, Jane Hazel, Sister, Six, Three, Doris, Down, Drip's Name, Seven, Kobe Clay, Mother Week, Eight, Dan and Thunder, Fat Eight, Nine, The Break, How to Save Away, Ten, Three Days, Days, Animal, I Have Become. <laughs> Can I make a cameo? What's up? So, I just called Air Freshener, Air Fiesta. <laughs> <laughs> Good. That sounds about right. Yeah, I was like, yes. It is. <laughs> Eight, Daniel Thunder, Bad Day. Nine, The Thread, How to Save Life. Ten, Three Days, Grace, Animal Life, Become. Eleven, Oasis, Wonderwall. Twelve, Iris, Two Loves. Thirteen, Play by Cheese, Hidden Delight. Four, Train, Drops of Children. Fifteen, James Bond, Train. Fourteen, Train, Drops of Children. Fifteen, James Bond. You're beautiful. Okay. There we go. I did it. Woo! Okay. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm sorry for the bad visual quality. And the... Those are tacks. Leave them alone. And then, um, my cat. Oh my god, and I'm sorry for the lighting. It's so bad. It's gonna it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Anyways, yeah, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you like my video or want to see more videos, click the little bell icon and get notified every single notifications every single time I post a new video.